Hello, everyone. I am Lisa D'Amico, curator of the Come As You Are virtual art exhibit, being hosted by um, the wonderful Cultural Alliance of Western Connecticut. And I have the pleasure right now of speaking to one of the exhibiting artists, Mr. Franklin Silva. Franklin, I'm so excited to speak to you about your piece, Divine, that's in the exhibit. And um, for anyone who hasn't seen Franklin's work, please check it out through the exhibit. And if you go to cawct.org, there's also a link that will take you to see more of Franklin's work. And I cannot recommend that enough. But let's talk about Divine. Okay, uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Divine uh, is my inspiration about Luton. And that piece talk, um, talk more about inside, about ourselves, uh, with one direction with capitalism, and how much we want to take things or buy things uh, in some ways, sometimes it's not necessary, but sometimes we we'll feel, I want to buy something, I want that. And sometimes we, if, if someone asks me why you need to buy that, sometimes we'd say, I don't know. So I make the divine, looks like a person feel superior than someone because can, can have, I can have everything because I can do everything and that person don't have idea, he's, he's normal like us, he's a human. And I make that big belly because he's just feed and eat a lot of things, objects, uh, cell phones, cars, whatever. Uh, and it feels so big with that. And the shape about the body, it's like a thin person. So for just we pay attention, uh, how much that person needs to eat more uh, or when his will see, I don't need more. Oh, wait, I, re I really need that. Uh, what, what is the good or dangerous for the world if I don't have a control about my, my switches? Uh, and yeah, so my piece talk a little about this, capitalism or how much it needs to be fed for have something for my life it's sometimes not necessary um yeah i think it, i think it's, it's about this lisa it's for with that direction <laughs> franklin you, your piece is monochromatic it's just black white and gray was that something that you had decided from the beginning or did that evolve uh yes i decided in the beginning that's the second piece about gluten and for me, it's more dramatic to use just black and white or grayscale. Uh, and that's really represent what I want to say. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't want it to include colors or take one impression really happy because it's something if I really want to everybody pay attention, uh, what that's me. Uh, what is just race scale? Yeah, my idea in the beginning is just black and white. It really, your piece, I find it, this is gonna may sound silly, but I really find it delightfully disturbing because of the imagery and because of the lack of color, because that feeling of gluttony is so obvious. And yeah. it almost, you can feel almost like the nausea and the overwhelming fullness. Yes, and yes. And that intentional is the light coming up, you know, because God said, stay up. And that idea, if that guy look it up and I'm, I'm supreme, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the master or whatever, you know, so needs to be strong that light in his face. Uh, and the darkness around, so yeah. <laughs> it's terrific. Tell me, when I read your artist statement, when you submitted the piece, it said it's part of a series. Yes, uh, I have this series uh, about Bluton and I have the first piece. The first piece you can see uh, one guy eating everything, just objects, uh, and then you'll see their eyes for another way. And it's really interesting. I made that first piece 
and I want to show the body for everybody. So you have two moments about you see the face and some people feel confused if that person comment or just eat a lot. And we have that second piece. It's for, for me, I, I'm really happy to create that because uh, people can understand the beginning, what happens there. So yes. I love it. So it's kind of like the evolution. Exactly. I love exactly. it. To see the other piece in the series, should people go to your website, your Instagram, both? Both. You can see in both pieces. Both is black and white, so everybody will see the reaction. I, I think in Instagram, I make the post together. Mm -hmm. So if you will see one, you can see another one. In my homepage, is together, too. In that section about paintings, you can see both pictures. Okay, I will include your information when this uh, video goes to edit so that people can easily find you and see more of this so they can see this whole kind of growth that you've done with this series. Um, mm -hmm. My last question, and it's a kind of, kind of basic and rudimentary, but why did you name this piece Divine? Divine? Uh, yes, uh, I remember one time if someone asked me about that situation and asked if about one disease, you know, have one disease if uh, the, the stomach feels big, uh, and uh, that person say, oh, that person, that piece call it divine because that person tried to find one solution and they say no. Uh, it's just divine because he looks like a god. He's look like a naughty human, uh, it. you know? Yeah, and it's not this. You're not, you're, you aren't ex special or better than I, we are the same, so it's I I, I can a little with that name. His look divine. His look superior. He he's don't look at uh, his feet on the floor. You know I'm superior. Uh, I'm flying, but no, no, sorry, no. <laughs> yeah. Franklin, I can't thank you enough for this insight. When you submitted this piece, I knew it was perfect for the for the focus of this virtual exhibit. And talking to you just confirms what I felt from the start. So thank you for what you do. I, again, I recommend everybody go online, see the exhibit and please see more of Franklin's work and follow him. It's a journey that you will absolutely enjoy. And I definitely do. So again, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for this opportunity. Thanks so much for everybody involved. <laughs>